We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. After spending last night devouring some very adventurous street foods on the busy streets of downtown Bangkok, we're heading just outside of the city to experience another side of authentic Thai culture. We're also turning this excursion into a little impromptu scavenger hunt because there are four specific things we're after today. A souvenir Buddha to send to my childhood friend, an oyster plucked straight from the water and plopped down the hatch, the freshest mango on the planet, and some hungry primates to play with our little monkeys. Well, after getting a fantastic night of sleep with bellies full of scorpion, it's the next day and we are off to another cool adventure. We're going to the floating markets. In fact, this is the original floating market of Thailand, the oldest one in existence. And it's about 80 kilometers south of town, so we've got about an hour and 40 minute drive to get there and some cool activities afterwards. Nancy is our guide again today. We've got this really comfortable van for the ride. Kids are doing their little activities, snacks. We're comfortable. So we're on the floating market and this is gonna be more of a local villagers experience. We're gonna meet, uh, woo, it's got splash. We're gonna meet local villagers to see, you know, how they live their daily lives. Wow, this is so interesting to me. I've always been really intrigued by uh, canal cities and this is like extreme canal living because uh, just to look, it's, it's coconut ice cream. Ice cream. My high school friend Michelle Grayson asked me to pick up a Buddha if we ever made it to Thailand and I see some over here. Hey, I think I can knock the first item off my list right now because we've got Buddhas right here. Nancy, what's like, what's the most authentic kind of Buddha? So this one's Attitude of Meditation by the way the hands are placed in the front there. I like this one. Michelle, on its way to you. Okay, we'll take this one. Oh, bye. Yeah. Thank you. All right, that's one item down. I think you know a really good piece of fruit when you can just cut through it and it's it's soft. You don't get the hardcore kind of things and this is like butter. It tastes a little bit like pumpkin to me. I'm not as big of a mango eater as Aaron is, but uh, that's delicious, very sweet. Um, let me try the pink one. Blue. Mmm. I like that one. Green. Yeah, the blue one tastes a lot like coconut, but maybe I just got a, more of the coconut milk. I love this. I think that's delicious. What a way to start the day. Let me see your face. That's like actually, that's cool. I mean like, it's like docile. Like you can walk up to these things. They're not gonna touch you if you don't touch them. And I love how his reaction is, look how docile it is. You can just walk right up to it. Because he would. It's actually adorable. It is actually so cute. Brooklyn, what's your favorite animal? What do you think of the jade one, honey? That one? Okay. What do you think of this one? one? Fancy. It's a jade elephant. It's special to me because it's an elephant. I want to hug an elephant one day. They have some copy bags. They call them copy bags because they're fake. Um, but they have apparently really good ones at this market where uh, you might not be able to tell the difference between the real ones and the fake ones. Can I get a samurai sword? No, you cannot get a samurai sword. I'm Brooklyn's biggest fan. Oh, it's a good joke. So she wants to get a fan. She's a little hot. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of think I should have got one too. I'm starting to really sweat. It is warm. We passed a guy with a lemur on his shoulder. Hi. It's adorable. So now we're going back and we're probably going to take some pictures with it. But Colt noticed that there were also photos of snakes. So if he has snakes, I know a kid who wants to hold one. I know two. What? The small one. That's the one. That's the small one. You? <laughs> you didn't see that? He like licked His little hand, it's literally like tiny little hand. Wow. Oh, I had no idea lemurs were so <laughs> Okay, okay, Brooklyn. He's so 
crazy. Cute. Wait, get it like this, like this. It's perfect. Hi, baby. He's like strangling me in from the weight. No, he's gonna get on the ceiling. He's gonna get on the ceiling. Don't get on the ceiling. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the most no. disgusting thing I can imagine. No, but he's cute. Like, uh, that's better. Okay, okay. There you go. This feels like when you get out of the swimming pool to go take a pee, and then you have to pull your wet swimsuit back. Okay, you take a lemur. I love you. The one thing the lemur could improve oh on God, is the it. drooling. The drooling is pretty serious for this guy. I love you. I would kiss you, but I don't want to get He's like, alright. <laughs> this is getting a little out of control. Is that the same one? Or is that a bigger one? No, 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 no. Not us. No, just, just him. No. Just him. Just him. That's too I think that's too heavy. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Hi. Oh, it's so heavy. 25 kilograms. Oh, hey, buddy. 25 kilos is that snake. That is Here, I'm going to get his head. Oh, you're heavy. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so heavy. No, we've had enough. Colt could stay here all day, but we're gonna get back to the boat. It's hard to leave this little lemur though. This is the sweetest little animal. All right, but we gotta go. We gotta put him back. Woo! Well, that was unexpected. We had no idea we were gonna run into a lemur, a snake, a giant snake, and an even more giant snake. <laughs> Our boat is sneaking up to these monitors. Awesome day. You know what? The best days are when these two get really excited about these experiences. And it, all it takes is an animal or two for this one. And all it takes is a cuddly animal for this one. Now we're in the neighborhood. This is where people live. And uh, it's, a, it's a little community here. So the, most of the people that live here, they work in the floating market. But these are their homes. It looks like this is a little worship area. It's an angel house and that's where they go to, to pray. The reason these canals exist is because a hundred years ago, they needed to do trade with China. And since there's so much coconut, they were trading coconut sugar. So they wanted to uh, export the coconut sugar from here up to China and they needed the avenues to do that. So they created these man-made canals so they had easier transportation. That's right. <laughs> 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 They're decorating for Chinese New Year, which is next week. Just bought some sticky rice with pudding, and we're gonna try it in the car. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Look at my lap. Look at me. Oh my God, how cute is that? And cute. You know what he looks like? A squirrel godfather. Like he's kind of fat. He's sitting in his chair, and he's like, "Come here on the day of my daughter's wedding." Now you don't even have to take a boat when you're here to get to all the marketplaces. There's the whole walking section. So you can literally just pull up, get out, and experience everything and buy everything that you can find out on the water. But of course it's much more fun on the water. Let's talk about pricing a little bit here. The stuff that we've been buying so far today is not really inexpensive. And I'm sure that you could talk them down, haggle them down to a much lower price. That's not really our style. We find that when we go to communities like this, most of the people who are working their butts off, especially in the heat, need that money a lot more than we do, so we just pay what they ask us to pay. But just to give you a little bit of comparison, like this uh, little elephant, this little resin elephant was about $18. The experience just to hang out and let them put snakes all over me, which I didn't even want to do, cost us about 45 bucks. So certainly more than I would expect to have to spend doing a water tour in Thailand, but again, worth every penny as far as we're concerned, and it's nice to give something back to the community. <laughs> 
Oh my god. This is a lot of fun, way cooler than I would have expected just to see a floating market. But we've still got two items on our scavenger hunt, so we've got to get going. I just realized, a lot of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, you said that you have two items from the checklist left, but you hit three of them already. The lemur, even though it is a primate, is not what we were talking about, so that one doesn't count. And uh, we might even find some fresher mango than what we found there. We're back along the river, different river, and we're gonna have some lunch. And I love the setting, outside, open air, and this is a really small town, local community feeling in this area. Those are the babies. They take the big ones, like what Cole had in his hand, to the floating market and they sell them. A little preview of our lunch. We got a few things here for lunch. We got fried rice with seafood. It looks delicious. Oh, that's a big piece of egg. And all the shrimp fresh from the water. And then, because the kids, they love calamari, we got them some squid. It's fried, not breaded, uh, and it's got some garlic chips on top too, so. This looks so good. Look at these big vegetables. And some of the squid still got tentacles on them. And we got a few different sauces. This one is sweet and these are spicy. Guess which one I'm having. Mm, I love this fried rice. Oh, it's delicious. Oh my gosh, that spicy sauce is delicious. This is good. And the vegetables, they just taste so fresh. And now for these big daddies. Woo! I bet you're supposed to suck out the guts and brain from the head. All right, let's dig into one of these oxymorons. Massive shrimp. I am going to twist it. You gotta like working for your food. That meat is delicious. Hey, we're gonna keep chowing down. We need the sustenance because we're going out into the forest in a minute. Time to get back in the boat. A different boat, a different waterway. Oh! 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 So we are in the mango forest and we came out here to find some monkeys and they started yeah, doing this call, like, like yelling to them, like, oh, oh, I wonder oh, if oh, 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 So this monkey comes onto our boat and takes the whole bag. That's scoundrel. You have to chase the monkey out of the boat because you cannot touch the monkey. Oh, 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 oh. Not touch the monkey, so nobody can touch him. Nobody can like try and shoot and shoot him out. And he was in heaven, just chilling, taking one oh. can after another. And so our boat driver kind of chased him out a little bit. I'd say this officially checks off the primate item from the list. We have to stop throwing the bananas because these wild dogs are coming up. They bite the monkeys. And so we have to stop throwing the bananas so that the monkeys can go and climb in the trees and be safe from these wild dogs. They're kind of making me nervous. They're like staring at us. Oh. <laughs> nervous about these dogs. I'm like on edge looking around for them because I oh. probably wasn't clear. They don't oh. bite the monkeys, they eat the monkeys. Well, we don't want them to eat the monkeys. Yeah. We're out of bananas. Oh. I think we went through about 500. Oh. 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 So, what next? We are all the way out here at the oyster farm. And what they do is they hang these little pieces of cement. The oysters attach themselves to it. And the ones that are here are about five months old. And you can't eat them until they're about eight months old. I think we're gonna find some older ones. So these are the five month old ones. But yeah, see how they kind of come and attach themselves onto the little cement pieces. Easy peasy. It looks like a fish. <gasps> Ooh, slimy. I'm gonna be the first to try one. I have never had an oyster just pulled out of the water 
and eaten it so fresh. And it's the perfect size. Phil and I like the small oysters. <laughs> Bottoms up. Mmm. That's great. So good. So fresh. I suck that oyster up. Mm-hmm. Like a spoon. All right. You got this. You got it. Good, buddy. <laughs> How is it? Not bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay, wait. If I don't like it, can I just spit it out? Sure. Yeah. Well, Go for it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just pick it out of there. No. <laughs> don't think you try. <laughs> and like, even Honestly, I'm the sucking one. on it. Daddy's turn. Mm. That's a good oyster. That's a real good oyster. Is it the best one? oyster you've ever had? Yeah, it's got to be. Because the flavor is fantastic. It's just like the kind that we like. But this one's fresh out of the water. That's worth a lot. Is there more? Yeah, you want one? All right. I kind of like, like it. Yeah. <laughs> is that all I of them? Mean... <laughs> What a way to spend a day. We fit so much into just a few hours, but most importantly, we checked off everything from our scavenger hunt. So Michelle, keep an eye on your mailbox because we have a Buddha coming your way. As for us, we're heading back to hit the showers, but we still have two more weeks in Southeast Asia, so stick with us and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. <laughs> Quick correction, it's not the mango forest, it's the mangrove forest. So I misunderstood, sorry about that, mangrove. <laughs> and that pretty much explains why we never had that second helping of mango I was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. We are the Lockwoods, Aaron, Phil, Reagan, Brooklyn, and Cole. We're traveling the world to experience, up close and in person, all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. We think it's a better way to learn, and we're working hard to fund this little experiment in the hope that our kids will grow up wiser, kinder, and more grateful for the beauty of our diverse planet and its people. 